One pager offers you a variety of options to get your visuals out and into the hands of your audience. Prior to diving into those options, it is best to get an understanding of the one pager document settings and page settings within the project view properties and how the two work together. These settings live in the page layout tab of the PVP as you see here. The document setup at the top indicates the one pager document width and height. The height of the document is usually determined by how many rows you have if you're set up to use an automatic row height. Conversely, if you choose to dictate the document height, the number of rows will determine your row height. This can be confusing, so let's take a deeper look at both options. First, I'm going to create a chart using a template that is set to have an automatic row height and only bring in four tasks. In this case, I get four sensible rows, which determine the height of my overall chart. Next, I'm going to create a chart using a template that is set to have a specific document height of 8.6 inches and bring in those same four tasks. In this case, I get four very tall rows. If I bring in 75 tasks, I will have 75 tiny little rows. In both cases, the height of my document is locked, so the volume of tasks that I import will determine how tall the rows are. All of our out-of-the-box templates include an automatic row height setting just to make the initial result as legible and reasonable as possible. The document dimensions that you see in the Page Layout tab can be modified using the controls within this tab or by physically dragging and dropping the chart in the Editor window like this. Now let's talk about the page setup at the bottom of the Page Layout tab in the PVP. These settings are to tell one pager essentially what size piece of paper you want to put your one pager document on when you go to print or export and in some cases save as a particular type of file. Your one pager document or image is mutually exclusive from the page or paper size. Let's look at a couple examples. In the first Note that my document is 9.8 inches wide by 8.6 inches high. It's boxy, almost square in its aspect ratio. My page size, however, is based on a letter size piece of paper, 8.5 by 11 inches. If I go to print preview mode in the page layout tab of the ribbon, you can see how it will fill out the paper virtually if I were to print or export. One pager will not manipulate the document image based on my page dimensions. That is up to me. Now let's look at another more extreme example. Here I have a very tall chart with over 70 rows. Its width is 14 inches, but it's 28.5 inches tall. On the same letter sized piece of paper, the printout or export would look like this. The takeaway is, you need to think of your one pager in terms of its aspect ratio or shape. You will need to attempt to match the aspect ratio of your one pager document to the paper you've chosen or the space you've allotted for a presentation. If your aspect ratios differ between the two significantly, you'll likely not get the desired result when it comes to output. Okay, let's move on to the ways to get your one pager out. There are two scenarios to consider. The first is a single page visual and the second is a multi page visual. For a chart that can fit onto a single page for output or presentation, the easiest way is to hit the copy button on the home tab in the ribbon toolbar. This will put an image on your clipboard of your document. The resolution of the image depends on how far you are zoomed into your visual at the moment you hit the copy button. If you're zoomed way in, your chart will have a higher resolution when you finally paste it into another location, like a PowerPoint slide. You can also conduct a file save as and save it to an image file type. However, if you do this, you must make sure you have your document height set to automatic, which will force one pager to prompt you to make a decision on multi-page output. When this form pops, you must choose the entire document option for one pager to create you an image that is in line with the copy button result. That is to say, it's not putting your document on a page or virtual piece of paper for output. It just gives you the image as you see it in the editor. Even if you have a single page, if you happen to choose all pages on this form, 
one pager will treat your save as image more like an export to a page or virtual piece of paper like this. There is one way to work around this, and that is to make your page size settings match your document dimensions using a custom page setting. That way, your virtual paper will match your document exactly, and there will be no white space surrounding your image. If we go back to the very tall chart that I created earlier as an example, if I modify my page sizes to match my document and then go to Print Preview, you can see that I have no white space like I would have had I kept the letter size dimensions. In the case of a multi-page chart, one pager will always behave as if it's putting your pages onto a piece of paper regardless of the output type. If you save as image, one pager will put your separate pages into a virtual piece of paper in an image form like you see here in print preview mode. Exporting to PowerPoint, PDF, or an image, or conducting a save as PowerPoint, PDF, or an image, in the case of multi-page, will always yield the same result, in that one pager will want to take the individual pages and put them on a virtual piece of paper in your new document. In a multi-page scenario, you will end up realizing that you have what I like to call a bully page that will determine the width of the document and therefore all pages. Here is an example of a visual that has four pages and the page breaks are set up to align with the swim lanes. Note the pages are not uniform and there is an obvious page here that is the largest. This is the bully page because we'll have to get it to fit best on the paper and by default that will determine how the rest of the pages fit. To do this, we'll bounce back and forth between the normal mode and print preview mode in the page layout tab in the ribbon, dragging the document width in order to make sure that the bully page fits as best as it can. Once we've best fit the bully page, we've essentially done our best and we will have to deal with some white space on the other pages. PowerPoint also gives you some easy tools to be able to crop out that white space in the Format tab after you have selected the image if you need to do that like you see here on the screen. Please visit our other videos at onepager.com forward slash support or feel free to reach out to us at support at onepager.com and we'll be happy to assist you.